So hey guys, welcome. <laughs> Here my mouth. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can probably tell from the title, this vlog is gonna be all about some of my favorite items that I bought for the first year of my daughter Remy's life. These would definitely be items that I would recommend for friends or family members or people who are having a child for the first time. These are items that I am so happy that I purchased. I think that they were 100% worth the money and they worked so well for my child. Again, this is just my personal opinion. It's not going to be for everyone. It doesn't work for every baby, but here is my list. Hopefully it gives you, you know, some useful information. The first item that I am going to share with you guys is a baby swing. Baby swing, I feel, is so important. Usually swings, I think, can last with a baby up until like five or six months, sometimes even longer. But Remy stopped using hers, I wanna say, about six months. But we had the Mamaru, and I loved the Mamaru. I know that other people don't really care for it. It's not their favorite, but it really soothed Remy. I wanna say that there were six different movements that you could choose from and multiple different levels of speed that you can choose from. So if you wanted it faster or slower, or if you wanted up and down or rocking back and forth, I think that's why I liked it so much is that some days she wanted it one way and some days she wanted it the other way. Some days she wanted it faster, some days she wanted it slower. And it worked so well for us and she could fall asleep in that thing. It had a safety belt in it as well that kept her safe in there so she wouldn't roll out. Now there's all sorts of baby swings that you can get out there. I have friends that have had a swing that has been like handed down from friend to friend, family member to family member, and it's just been amazing for them. But I got the Mamaru because my older brother has a daughter who's now three years old and that's what he purchased and it worked so well for her. And you know what? It worked great for Remy too. A baby swing, definitely a must. The next item on my list is going to be a baby carrier. For a very long time, we actually used the Baby Bjorn and I also used my Sakura Bloom. And I really like this because it's a really nice light material and you can use it for your newborn, you can use it for your baby as they get older, you can put them on the front or on the back. Same thing with the baby Bjorn, but I loved those type of, I would almost call them like backpack like carriers. I felt real secure with Remy being in there, especially when she was really, really tiny. Super easy to get on. All of them are machine washable, which I thought was really, really nice. Um, but this one, I don't, you know, on the CTFXA, I don't know if a lot of you guys saw me wearing this as often. I wore it. The only downfall I think of this one is that the, the material is breathable, but I, I felt like she sweat more in this one for some reason. So I use this actually a lot more during the winter times and I love that it folded down and it's in, they have all different colors. It's really, really beautiful. It was super, super comfortable. Same with the Baby Bjorn, it was super lightweight, but a great, almost, I don't know if you wanna call them like a backpack carrier, but these type of carriers, amazing. Now, staying on the same subject of carriers, first off, I don't think you can go wrong with having multiple different items to carry your child in because it gets very tiring, babies get very heavy very quickly, and you're gonna be doing that a lot. <laughs> you're gonna be doing that a lot. And for me, I kind of wanted to test everything out because I didn't know what I was gonna like more than the other. And so I bought wraps, I bought like the almost hammock-like uh, sling, and I also had like the what I call the backpack carrier. I don't, again, I don't really know if it has a specific name. Um, but I tried all of them and honestly all of them worked really really amazing for me But they all kind of worked amazing for me at different points in Remy's life So backpack carrier that kind of worked throughout her entire first year of life the what I'd like to call like the sling I have multiple different ones that I got from multiple different brands But I use this a lot when she was really really young because it almost cradled her as if she were cradled in my arms and I could keep her close to my body. I could adjust it, I could keep it really comfortable. It was very breathable and she felt very, very comfortable in this and I actually could hide her and I, you know, it was just nice and light and it didn't, you know, I didn't feel like it was pulling down on my shoulders, anything of that sort. But I found that it brought Remy a lot of comfort. Only downfall of this is I think that it can be a little complicated to put on and adjust on your body. But with any company that sells these, Typically they have obviously directions on how to put it on, but a lot of them I have noticed have some type of video that will really show you how to put it on correctly and make it comfortable for yourself and for baby. And then, dude, I have to be honest with you. 
wraps. Can't see it because it's just, it, this is all of it. Wraps are the best thing ever. I loved wrapping Remy. I loved it. I have multiple different brands that I use. What was so great about the wraps is that I can wrap Remy tight against me, but it made her so comfortable. And as soon as I put her in the strap, she'd pass out. As soon as I, she would just like, she'd get so comfortable. She's right next to my chest, right next to my heart. And um, there was a certain way that you could actually like cover her head. And it, I found that these were at first a little complicated to put on, but once you figured out how to do it, you figured out um, how to tighten it, how to get baby in and out of it, it became so easy. It was just, honestly, it was like second nature. If I ever have another baby, I'll definitely be using these again for sure, without a doubt, above almost anything. I loved the backpack carriers, I loved the sling, I loved the wraps. I used these so much when Remy was a baby. I think the only downfall for these is that it can be a little complicated to put on, but Things take time, you gotta learn. I'm sure you could find a million YouTube videos on how to properly wrap your baby. And I don't know, I just love these. Again, everything will be in the description below. I just realized that the brightness on this was like astronomical and I look like a, uh, I was glowing, but you know what? We're gonna go with it. Okay, so the next item that I'm gonna share with you is something that I actually got as a gift. I did not purchase this until I got it as a gift. And this, is clothing okay these are like the best sleepers ever for me i think that they were the best sleepers ever they are made by bonds which is like an australian company and they're called the wonder suit okay so they look like this they zip all the way from the top all the way down to the left leg they have these little footies that go over so they'll go and they'll cover the toes if you want to they also have it for the hands as well and they're super stretchy super soft. Remy loved these. I loved these. It was so easy to change her at night because they also had the zipper that goes up from the bottom. So it goes from the top or from the bottom. So like when I was changing her at night, I could just zip her from the bottom, take her legs out, change her, put her legs back in, zip it back down without having to take the whole thing off. Cause I feel like a lot of times you have to unbutton all the way down or unzip all the way down and get the baby basically completely naked before you can actually change them. And these, you did not have to do that. Now they're not super inexpensive, but they're hundred percent worth it with the size. This is a six to 12 month sleeper. And I can tell you that one thing that I thought was so great about it is they're extra long. So with Remy, what I ended up doing is this is a six to 12 month and it still fits her. And I think that they last longer. So that right there, you're getting more bang for your buck because you're getting more out of them. I just love these lightweight, very soft, but they still kept baby warm and they have the coolest prints ever. Like, look at this one. This one's like, ocean underwater i thought it was so cool real bright colors they have pants they have everything you can think of i would definitely check them out especially if you're a new parent you won't need any other sleepers you could have three of these and they will last you forever staying along the subject of clothing if you're someone who wants to buy all the cutesy tootsy like i want to buy really trendy stuff which i do 100 percent. of course i do that which by the way i have a video coming out of some of my like favorite trendy kind of baby shops that i like to shop at for remy that's coming out very very soon but let's just say if you're not really into the whole trendy thing you want something that's very realistic you better buy honestly you better buy only at one place and you better buy only one type of onesie and that is carter's onesies okay Carter's has the best onesies ever. I don't care what anybody says. They're all soft. They're super stretchy. I think that you can buy a onesie from them and it'll say that it's a six to nine month onesie and it'll last longer because they're stretchy. You know, that's what's so great about them. And you can wash them over and over and over and they still kind of maintain their same color and their same shape. I don't think that they get really worn out super easily, but I love Carter's onesies. I think that they're amazing and I, you know, they're super inexpensive. If I wanted to keep it very simple and, some, and very basic, but they do have cute, don't get me wrong. They have very cute plain onesies, but I wouldn't say that they're on the super trendy side. I think they're on the cutesy side, but I love them. Like I said, all onesies that I have for Remy are by Carter's and I just, I love them. The next item that I'm gonna share with you is actually an item that I have mentioned in a prior vlog, but I swear by these things. And it is the Lovey Pacifier and Teether Holder, and it's by Dr. Brown's. I've mentioned this before, I love these. Not only are they super cute, they have all different types of like styles for the little teether holder. And this one is the bunny and I thought it was super cute. But what I loved so much about these is Remy was very much into pacifiers when she was younger, but she kind of fluctuated between all different types. 
and you know sometimes she would love this one sometimes she would love a different one but what i loved so much about this is that you could kind of interchange all of the pacifiers and that you could actually take them off a lot of these pacifier teether holder things that i've seen in the past it's strange they're like actually connected to it and they're almost connected like right at the mouth of the little animal and i thought that was a little bizarre because i would never want to throw a pacifier holder and a pacifier into the washing machine it just doesn't seem it just seems very unsafe remy loved it that she still carries around these guys currently but she doesn't really use her pacifier every once in a while she does but if i want to i can just take the pacifier right off and she just carries it around super cute they're inexpensive and i don't know I love these guys. So many of you may or may not know this, but I have been breastfeeding Remy for about 14 months and Remy is a very interesting baby. And I say that with a very loving heart. Remy for a long time loved bottles, loved breastfeeding, loved bottles. She could kind of care less which one she did. And then she absolutely hated bottles. But for a really, really long time, all she's wanted is the boob. So for a really long time, I kind of struggled ever getting Remy to take a bottle because she honestly, she didn't really want to. But anytime I did use a bottle, and now I am using bottles with her because they have really cool transition cups, but I would use a Dr. Brown's bottle. They have a lot of anti-colic, bottles remy was never really colicky she was a little bit in the beginning i think they helped tremendously whenever i've actually asked anyone about what type of baby bottles to get the first one they always recommended was dr brown's and i think that dr brown's is is quite literally they're amazing amazing bottles the one that i have that i really like is the options plus baby bottle and sippy spout what they have is they have like interchangeable nipples and they have one that goes and it transitions to like the more sippy spout so it's not this traditional baby bottle um, nipple it's more square it's got a like a wider hole and remy really really loved this i have it in like multiple different styles and what i wanted to show you about this one that i think is really cool is it has this really cool silicone hand grip kind of sleeve that goes on top of the bottle and when i first started giving remy her bottle for her to hold on her own this thing came in such handy it was amazing i found that to be super useful but i love their bottles they're really wonderful the caps are missing right now because remy has them hidden somewhere like i said love their bottles they come in all different sizes they have glass bottles as well i would say that this is probably like the number one bottle that we gravitated towards with feeding remy when it came to bottle feeding one other bottle i want to show you guys and this is as she got older when she actually started to really want to drink on her own besides having breast milk or by besides drinking off the boob i gravitated towards this sippy cup um this is the cheers 360 spoutless transition cup with handles this is the seven ounce has a little water in it right now because she was using it today this sippy cup is great look at that look at that guys no water is dripping out but when she drinks on it comes out super easily i had to show you okay i don't have for me here to show you but i love this sippy cup because i gotta tell you what i've tried a different type of spoutless sippy cup before and she would she's a baby she throws things on the ground so she threw it on the ground and it just spilled everywhere i was like this is not supposed to spill out what the heck is going on and i ended up getting this dr brown's one and i'm like oh gosh please i hope this thing works otherwise what's the whole point of these sippy cups and i'm not kidding you it doesn't spill out anything i just shook that in front of you and nothing came out but this is a great transition bottle great sippy cup super easy for them to use small enough for them if they're younger definitely recommend this as well okay so the next item that i have to share with you is actually grape water and i feel like i discovered grape water early on because a lot of my girlfriends that have kids actually recommended that i get this right away because it really is helpful for gassy or colicky babies and there was a time when remy was so gassy i felt so horrible for her whenever she's fussy now i give this to her and i and i truly believe it i truly truly believe in it i think it is super helpful i think it really provides her the comfort that she needs and i don't even use the recommended serving because i don't think she necessarily needs all of that because i've always given her such a small amount but this stuff is amazing definitely recommend that now the last item that i got that i'm i'm really happy with and i think that th this is going to be kind of like a debate i think people are going to debate over this one because this there's the one that i love and then there's another one that everybody swears by and i have both of them and that is the snuggle me organic 
or the Docatot. Now, I've used both of them and I think that they're both wonderful. I don't think that there is one thing wrong with the either either one of them. I found more success with the Snuggle Me Organic. Remy was just so much more comfortable in it, the way that it hugged her was so much better, and I just, I loved that it had like interchangeable covers, things of that sorts. But the only downfall about this is that I have the smaller infant one, so she did grow out of it. Now with the Docatot, the positive side of the Docatot is it has like this disconnector down here. So baby can grow and she can still slay in there. But I have to tell you, like, I just don't think it's as comfortable. I just don't think it's as comfortable. And I think that it was a little bit pricier than the Snuggle Me Organic. I did use it every once in a while, but I just found that she was more comfortable in the Snuggle Me Organic. Now, cool thing about Snuggle Me Organic is they have a toddler one. And I just found out that they have a toddler one. So I ended up buying it. If I end up having another baby, then I'm really happy that I have both. It's so hard because it's like hard to judge. Do you get more bang for your buck buying a Snuggle Me because it's more inexpensive, but it doesn't last as long in regards to the size? Or are you better off getting the Jockatot that has many of the same features, but I think it'll last a little bit longer. I just don't find it as comfortable for baby. That's kind of up, for, up to you to decide, but I would definitely get some type of baby lounger hugger for them, I think that that is really helpful, especially with that first year of life. Again, I would choose the Snuggle Me over the Docatot. Nothing wrong with either one, but Snuggle Me was definitely our favorite. Okay guys, so those are the items that I am happy that I got for baby's first year of life. I really hope you found those helpful. I'm going to put in the description below all of those items that I've listed and hopefully you guys either own some of them so you're like, yes, Allie, good choice, or maybe you guys are going to disagree with me 100%, but I'm going to put them in the description below because if you want to buy them, I think that it will be very beneficial to you. All right, guys, I'm going to be putting out another video very, very soon. We've had kind of a hectic situation going on over here, but I'm doing my best. I'm really trying to get out more videos and stay tuned. If you guys have any videos that you definitely want to see, please feel free to leave it in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you learned something and I hope that you walk away feeling like your life was filled with beautiful baby wisdom. I really do. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye.